Hi friends and welcome! In this video I'm going to show you how to create an animated GIF like this one, maybe even adding some text to create your own meme. Let's get started! You can do all of this through PowerPoint and it's easier than you think. First thing we need is something to animate, some type of character like the panda. The panda is actually available in PowerPoint but you can choose other things as well. So I'll come up to Insert and then click on Icons and then from there click on Stickers. There's actually a lot of really fun things here that you could use for different characters to animate. The panda is somewhere down here. You can do a search as well. Panda, and here we go. So I'm going to choose eight of these different stickers. You can choose more or you can choose your own character as well. So I'll just go through and click on these that make sense for the story that I wanted to tell. Once everything's selected, just click on Insert down here. And then I'll resize all of these just so I can get them onto a single slide and kind of create my storyboard. And I'll just quickly go through here and kind of set them up in sequence in the way that I think makes sense. You can choose something else if you would like. So here's the sequence I'm going to go with here. And I'm just going to leave this slide here so I can remember the order that I want to use. Then I'll create a new slide. If you just click right here and hit enter, that'll create a new slide. I don't need these placeholders though, so I'll just do a control A and get rid of those. When we go to do our animation, basically what PowerPoint does, it'll treat each slide as a new frame in the animation. So we basically want one of the pandas on each slide. So I'll go up and grab this first one here, do a control C to copy, and a control V to paste. And then let's just make sure that everything is the same size. So I'll double click on this and then up here under Picture Format, let's choose a height of say five inches and then I'll center this horizontally and vertically on the slide using the guides there. Then let's add some text, making this kind of a funny meme. I'll insert a text box right down here, me on a Zoom call. And then to make that stand out more, let's update the font to Impact. And then maybe let's go with a size 44 and center it. Okay, and we'll center this on the slide. And there's our first frame in the animation. Now all we need to do is duplicate this and update the pandas. So I'll right click on it and say Duplicate Slide. And then coming up here, I'll grab our next panda in the sequence. Coming down here, I'll resize it. Again, just double click to get the picture format tab. We were using a height and width of five. And then I will center this on the slide. And then I'll do a control X to cut and get it out of the way. Delete this one and then paste to bring it back. So I'll repeat those steps, just duplicating the slides updating the pandas, and then I'll be right back. On this one with the surprised face, I'm going to update the text to when someone asks me a question, and I'll just expand this text box so it fits on one line, center it, and then I'll finish off with the rest of the slides. Okay, I've got all of these slides set up. On this last one, I actually want this panda to run off the screen. So I'll add an animation here, coming up to Animations, and then Expand to see everything. This will be a Fly Out. And then I'll need to change this so that the panda runs off the left of the screen. So to left, and there we go. So this is just getting your slides set up with the right characters, the text, whatever you want to do. And then the magic part that creates the animation and the GIF is just to do a save as. But one thing to know before you do that is any other slides that are in here will get included in that GIF in the animation. So we actually want to get rid of this one right here. So I'll just click on that and hit delete on my keyboard. And then I actually have nine slides in here that were the completed version as I was preparing for this. So I'll just delete this remove section and slides. And now we just have the slides here that we want in the animation. Okay, now let's go do a save as. 
file, save as, and then rather than saving it as a PowerPoint presentation, select this drop down and come down to animated GIF format, and then save. I save that as demo.gif, so if I were to open this up, this is just using the default image viewer in Windows. Yours might use something different, but there's our GIF. And this will just cycle through. You'll notice at the end that animation with the panda running off the screen. You could try other things as well, make it a little bit more fun. And that's it. That's how to do a simple animated GIF or meme using PowerPoint. If you found it helpful, hit that like button for me, and also think about subscribing for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.